You touched on something yeah. early in the show I wanted to bring back around a little bit. So you spent 15 years living in China, and now you've recently come mm -hmm. back to the United States. So your perspective is a bit fresher about the United States than my own. So I was hoping, as an ambassador that you are, you could help um, our American listeners understand a little bit mm -hmm. about maybe what media gets wrong about life in China. First off, people don't know what the hell they're talking about in a lot of ways. Mm. They they have these preconceived notions about just like just like me when I was when I didn't know and never went to China, but I was reading about it or mm -hmm. just trying to figure it out. You know, there's just certain things that you know when you when you're there. You know, and if you're, <coughs> but um, the 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 thing is that like everything is always painted with such a broad brush. Mm. Now you know it's like. Are there things going on in China that uh, are, are troublesome? Are there people that are unhappy? Of course, there's people unhappy here in America. You, I can go outside and find a whole bunch of those people right now that are, they, I mean, like burning the American flag if they want to or, or storming the Capitol, you know, like, like there's, there's vivid mm -hmm. examples of chaos in all countries, you know, but it just seems like when it's being imparted to china it's this this epic all-encompassing it's 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 all of this and and what i would recommend is, is 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 for people to like parse things out and say is this is this a, a is is this as broad as what i'm being informed about or is this something that's being uh, extrapolated in a larger way because i think so much i, I was in in Shanxi uh, province, and I was on a C, I think it was a CGTN trip or a, a CRI trip, I think. And I was, uh, I went to a, a, a an area that had, uh, they were growing crops here. And, um, and, and this area was very arid and there wasn't a lot of opportunity to grow crops, but this, this kind of guy came and he was a, the local official and he was able to work with the locals and understand, uh, hydroponics and all of these kind of things. And, and he revolutionized this sort of arid area. And now it produces just an ungodly amount of vegetables. And, and so mm -hmm. I ended up like is, I've been chastised for it like crazy. I ended up dancing with these vegetables, and it was this fun, like, I don't know if you guys I have seen see it. That. But yeah, just look up dancing vegetables. And I was, I mean, I was on media. Hmm. I was on like, like actual, like, I've been on the cover of New York, New York, uh, New York Times. Wow. Wow. No, no. Yeah, New York Times, you know, I've been called a propagandist for the Chinese government because I'm. <laughs> Because, Dancing? Because what? <laughs> because I danced with vegetables. Because I was really happy to see... Because I was really happy to see these instances of successful opportunities. Mm. That, maybe it was the Chinese government. Maybe it was the people mm. working with the Chinese government. Maybe, but but if you're not willing to, uh, to... If you look at all the negative painted with a broad brush and say, this is all China, mm. and you look at uh, the good stories and say, that's not relevant, then you're what are you what are you doing you know what i mean like like if you got to look at it all and like weigh the value of different countries and different cultures that way if you really want to if you if that's your goal is to like judge a right. country you judge it by by the, everything not just these little instances and i was finding you know i was i was always seeing these stories that are like oh my god and like like that one in xian that you were talking about earlier like mm -hmm. you know me talking about how people here aren't miserable why is that even need, <laughs> why do you even need to say that you know right. but i felt like i did have to because because I know that people's preconceived notions of this country are are in large part negative, and I don't think that that that's deserved, you know, mm. in, in 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 most cases, you know. 